Hi Laura and uh, welcome back and yes I've changed up the background a little bit here I put up an autumn wreath and I'm hoping the goddess of autumn is watching and takes pity on me because this weather is just really getting to me um yeah it's been uh in the high 30s for with the humidex for the past week it's supposed to go on for another week um the humidex tomorrow is supposed to go up to 44 degrees celsius uh usually this time of year at least the nights start really cooling off and then the days remain hot uh, but that's not happening it's it's hot and muggy 24 7 so i'm hoping the uh by putting up an uh, autumn decoration that uh mother nature will get the hint that i'm sick of this <laughs> anywho um yeah so i uh did uh go to my little trio of stores marshall's home sense and winners and yeah i actually really control myself quite well um there is lots of uh autumn stuff out but i do have to remember i got lots of stuff here decorations for autumn and halloween so um i actually uh control myself uh fairly well the wreath is from either home sense or marshall's i can't remember which and then I just put some uh, fairy lights, added a few fairy lights in that too. So, and if you're interested in books, I've been doing a lot of videos lately about um, with book reviews and book hauls and that. I've been a bookworm since I, before I could read. And uh, yeah, I have so many around the house. Um, they're just tucked in every nook and cranny. Uh, so I thought I'd just put um, some up here uh, because uh, I don't know, being surrounded by books just, oh, just serenity now serenity now so anywho um yeah if you want to watch some of those you can see what uh books i've been hauling and reviewing and that sort of thing and i have like about 20 or so sitting in front of me that i hauled from book outlet and i'm expecting another 20 or so uh they just have good prices and hey um uh, i'm going to be retiring in 37 days um well 36 days and eight hours now i'm not counting or anything like that um but anywho i'll have a lot more time for reading so anyway um i'll just have a little sip of my chai tea here i found this little cup in one of the discount stores you know winners marshalls whatever uh when it rains look for rainbows and then on, on the inside it says uh when it's dark look for stars so I thought that was quite, quite pretty. And in this difficult time, we certainly have to look for the positive. All right, so I will start with uh, this sweater um, that was in, I think, Winners. And I kind of saw it at a distance and I thought, oh my God, fall colors. And it is by uh, Zara. And it was only, uh, ten dollars and it was very very soft and what attracted me first was um, the fall colors on it so you got the greens and the burgundies and a little bit of blue there and it's um people out in their boats and that so yeah I just saw it from a distance I thought oh that is kind of nifty uh, so yeah but just um, wear it with like a rust colored uh, fall hat or something and put like a or a rust colored vest over it i thought that would be really neat and it can't beat the price and of course i like snoopy and woodstock they're my favorite uh peanut characters and i uh, found this shirt and i love basketball i cannot wait till the toronto raptors start playing again kyle kyle lowry is finally leaving the toronto raptors it's, it's disappointing but you know it's um what are you going to do? Uh, he's getting up there for a basketball player age-wise, and he's had a lot of injuries, so maybe it's a good time for him to go, but, you know, I'm going to miss him. But anyway, there's um, whoop, Snoopy and Woodstock with the basketball there. And then just some uh, some uh, napkins. Oh, Woodstock, he's just so cute. All righty. And then... Um, yeah, a lot of fall merchandise out and just walking into the store and seeing all that cozy, warm colors of fall and the decorations is just uh, so nice. 
This is by Good Harvest and it's Pumpkin Spice Chai Tea Latte Mix. And I love the taste of chai teas. Um, now hopefully this will, this will have a lot of those really warm spices and it'll be nice and those spices will be nice and strong. Um, the stronger the better for me. Uh, but it is a like a powder. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. And then um, I did find this uh, Buxom Plumping Lip Polish and I think it came out last fall and I did purchase another one and it smells like pumpkins. I just, I was kind of in a rush and I couldn't find it right off the bat. But anyway, um, this one uh, smells like apple cider, I believe. Cozy up with a warm, spicy apple cider scent and a tingling sensation. Um, so this one is called Autumn. And this one is supposed to smell like apple cider. And it does. It does smell like apple cider. And I don't know if that'll catch the light, but it is kind of a sparkly, light rust kind of color, which will be really nice for the fall. Alrighty, and then an, uh, another lipstick I thought would look nice for the fall is by uh, Bare Minerals, and this was just $7.99. Usually Bare Minerals uh, lipsticks on Sephora Canadian price is like $25, and this other one, um, this Buxom Lip uh, Gloss was $7.99. Again, probably $25 or something Canadian at Sephora. And uh, this Bare Mineral Minerals one is the Hydra Smoothing Lipstick, and this is in the color Awareness. And this is just a beautiful color for the fall. And it's just a, um, it's like a brick red. Oh God, okay, that was useless. Let's try it over here. Uh, so yeah, it's like a very dark, rusty, brick red kind of color. Um, perfect for the fall. And then there's this company called Youngblood, and I have seen their products, and their lipsticks are just $4.99. Again, these are all Canadian prices. And that's what they look like. And this is in the color um, Bliss. Now, this is a little more uh, sheer than I was expecting. But if you've got a matte lipstick, you want a little bit of a gloss there. Uh, so yeah, it is um, a kind of a satin glossy finish. Um, so you can always maybe even put it on top of this one. But yeah, a little more sheer than I thought it would be. And uh, Gen Nude by Bare Minerals. Their uh, blushes are very popular. They're very good blushes. And again, much cheaper than at Sephora. And this one's called Peachy Keen, but it uh, is much darker than like a peachy kind of color. But I thought this would look beautiful for, for fall too. Oh, it's very smooth. Uh, so yeah, I thought that color, actually all three of these colors would look very nice. So that would look nice on the cheeks there. So great colors for the fall. And then, uh, yeah, I have my little press on nails. These are by Dashing Diva. I've had these on for a week. And they're not going anywhere. <laughs> they're on there uh, solid. And uh, yeah, now that I'm retiring, I don't have to worry about the, taking these off every time I have to go to work and that. So I did uh, find these Kiss Impress Nails. Now you can find these in Marshalls and Winners. And usually they're about $8, I think, in Walmart. And I can get them for $4.99 uh, at Marshalls and that. So uh, I thought this, I do have a pair like this. I just wanted to get another set because it's just so pretty. And I can't remember. Oh, it's all covered up the name of it. And then they had some Ardell glue-on nails. And um, I thought this would be really neat for Halloween. So it has like a matte texture here. And then this one has um, kind of a bumpy kind of texture 
both of these um, and this is kind of an ombre look now I wish this peach was maybe a little like a rust color I thought that would look kind of neat um, or even red for for Halloween would be pretty cool now these are a bit long for me but uh, you can always always file them off but I thought that would be kind of neat in um, for Halloween and then these ones uh, these are a very soft matte very light pink and there's a few little accent nails well I thought they were really quite pretty alrighty um, and then uh, I'm not going to go through all these books you can just watch my book videos there if you <laughs> I'm not going to go through all these other ones uh, um, but I did right now I am reading Emma Donahue the pull of the stars and actually, um, I was just reading the back the other day uh, when I started, and she was born in Dublin, uh, but she lives in London, Ontario, like right in my city here. Um, I didn't know that. And she wrote the screen adaption of uh, the movie Room also that um, uh, I think it was uh, nominated for like four Academy Awards. So yeah, she actually lives in London. So this takes place in 1918. The war is still on, and the... Um, uh, the epidemic, um, the influenza epidemic of 1918 is um, on full force in Europe. So this takes place over three days in a maternity ward uh, during this time. And uh, yeah, I'm not too far into it, but it is, um, it's always interesting being a nurse myself, reading about how people nursed back in the days. Uh, so yeah, that's, um, I'm really enjoying this. And um, on Amazon, uh, so I've heard a lot of people uh, talk about this book, and for years I've, I was going to read it, and I just never did. And I finally picked this one up um, on Amazon, and it's the Rebecca, and this is the 80th anniversary edition. So I've heard some really good uh, story of book reviews about this, and uh, yeah, I, I wanted to try it, and the cover's beautiful, it's just all embossed. Uh, so, um, this woman is uh, working as a paid companion to a domineering elderly lady, and then she meets a handsome widower, and he proposes, and she marries him, uh, but she's haunted by his first wife. Uh, so, it's supposed to be very atmospheric, supposed to be very gothic. Uh, so, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to finally reading about this one. So, that's it. Uh, that's my little haul, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to control myself. Um, uh, but yeah, right now I'm just uh, spending most of my money on books that I really want to, to read for a while, and having this out, bookoutlet.ca, um, I get some really, really good books for a good price. So that is my haul, and I uh, guess uh, just praying to the autumn gods for them to arrive uh, sooner than later. Uh, it's just just too hot and humid for me. So I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you soon and take care. Be kind. Bye-bye.